Okay, guys, I've got another a real interesting uh, thing I'm playing with. Uh, this is Johnny Darvo's idea. And he uh, figured out that you could take a jewel thief and uh, make it run a Bedini SSG. So I set up a little different circuit, but I've been playing around with using super caps uh, in the circuit with batteries in a combination and using the jewel thief uh, charging circuit and the SSG charging circuit and making this whole thing work together. So here's the setup. There's the SSG running. And uh, there's the Jewel Thief running right there. And the way this works is the Jewel Thief uh, produces light with the uh, LEDs. But then uh, after it goes to the LEDs, it charges. So what I did on this circuit was I put it into a big 50 farad, 2.5 volt capacitor and nickel metal hydride batteries and uh, I thought this might be an interesting way to do this experiment was uh, use them both in combination and that's what the waveform looks like now this waveform um, I'm having a lot of trouble with my oscilloscope figuring out the best way to use it but uh, I found out that I had it upside down if you hit this button here you invert it and that's what I was doing wrong. I had it inverted, but that's the way it's supposed to be. But I don't quite understand what it looks like and what it's supposed to look like in the whole dynamic, but that's what it is. I just haven't studied the manual enough. But this is the waveform between the uh, uh, collector and the base of the transistor that's running the Jewel Thief right there. And um, the uh, voltage on the capacitor and the drive battery is right there. And I can take the battery off, or I can take the capacitor off, and it runs on either one, obviously. Uh, the energy stored in the capacitor, of course, drains down much faster than the energy in the battery. There's more joules in the battery than there are joules stored up in that capacitor. But what I'm doing is I'm shooting it over to the Bedini SSG, and the Bedini SSG is charging up another battery. That's a battery in the back, and that's voltage on that battery charging up. And the dynamic between the two circuits is very, very interesting. And I played around with this for several days now, tuning on it and looking at the waveforms. And uh, like I say, this is a uh, real interesting. You can pull off batteries or capacitors and see what happens with the charging that happens over here. You can pull off that super cap and see what happens with just the energy coming this way. And to play with it back and forth. But I've had a lot of... Uh, fun and also a scratching of my head about the dynamic and the reason that this has kind of stopped me in my tracks is between these two circuits this doesn't seem to use very much energy in fact when I get this tuned up about right it doesn't seem to use any energy and um, I really don't know what's going on here but I've been running this all day and the voltage on this uh, battery right here hasn't gone down. And if I tune this up just right, it actually goes back up. So I don't know. I don't know what's, what the story is, why this is doing what it's doing. But I know on a Jewel Thief, they don't require much energy. And then they bump up the uh, voltage quite a bit to the back end. And that's what this is. This is the back end of the circuit. I took the back end and I shoved it around to the front end. And then I went over to the Bedini SSG with it, let it do its thing over here with the super capacitors and the charge battery. And uh, anyway, I just thought I would uh, play around with something different. This is what it sounds like here. Hear it running away. And that's the waveform here. I can vary that with the potentiometer. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I say, if anybody has any ideas on, on what's happening here and why it's happening, I don't know. But like I say, I've been running this thing uh, all day, and uh, battery doesn't seem to go up or down. or just. Of course, that's voltage. The voltage doesn't tell you a whole lot. It just tells you some of the story, but that is one indication of what's happening inside of rechargeable batteries. You look at the voltage on it and see if it drops or 
what happens to it. But uh, very interesting experiment. I've had a lot of fun with this one. And this is, like I say, Johnny Darvill's idea was to take the um, jewel thief and let the jewel thief uh, run the SSG. He's done it differently than I've done it. I just uh, came across this way to do it, and I've had a lot of fun playing with this one today. So, anyway, that's the latest on the Bedini Jewel Thief.